Hi everybody, my name's Jessica. This is my first unboxing video. Um, I get quite a few box subscriptions every month and before I um, sign up for one, I like to watch other people's unboxing videos to see what I'm getting into. And it looks like they have a lot of fun, so I thought I would try one. So this time I am doing my Taste Club box. This is my first time getting a box from Taste Club, so I don't know what to expect quite yet. Um, it's $22 a month. And from what it appears, it's just a lot of fun things to try, different food items. So let's get started. So it comes like this. Um, I opened it uh, to see what was in there. I expected to find an actual box. Uh, it turns out that everything is just in there. So I closed it and haven't seen what's in there yet. So um, let's see. first thing. I noticed when I opened the box is all this super annoying crinkly paper. So we're going to be super careful with that. I've already made a little bit of a mess. Um, then there is a little pamphlet that looks like it shows all the things that I'm going to see in this box. So I'll close this and I'll read it as we go. Then there is a long letter. Um, I won't read it to you, but it talks about... Um, the theme of this box which it looks like it's a summery tropical theme and it also talks about how this month they're partnering with Meals on Wheels um, and so it seems like there must be some sort of benefit uh, like charity benefit when you uh, subscribe to this box so that's kind of neat um, so let's see what we get here first all right, so this is um, vanilla rose sugar. I've never heard of that before, so let's let's read about that one. Bourbon vanilla rose sugar. The beautiful hand blended sugar is infused with real Madagascar bourbon vanilla beans and Damascus rose petals. The vanilla adds a creamy and sweet flavor to the smooth sugar blend, leaving room for a hint of floral at the finish from the delicate rose petals. An elegant upgrade from plain sugar, this aromatic blend will enhance a cup of coffee or tea and is delightful when sprinkled onto sugar cookies or French toast. I love French toast, so we'll have to try that. So let's see what's next. Okay, this is a fruit strip. Mm, looks like pineapple and I never know how to pronounce this acai berries uh, so kind of reminds me of a, of a fruit roll up sort of deal it's flat let's see the wild super fruit this wild super fruit will nourish your soul and sustain the rainforest all at the same time Made from 100% organic fruit, there are more than 35 acai berries packed in every strip. The berries are blended with chunky bits of pineapple and then slow dried to deliver zingy flavors that will sweeten your smile. It's rich with antioxidants and amino acids and will satisfy your soul when you need a little sweetness in your life. This is organic, gluten-free, and vegetarian. What else? Let's see. Sweet and spicy lemongrass roasted coconut chips. Um, I love coconut, but I'm not a fan of anything lemongrass. I went to Bali this summer, and there's a lot of uh, interesting food there and a lot of uh, lemongrass. And that's where I learned I'm not a big fan. But I will try it because I do love coconut. So let's see what it has to say about that. These crunchy, sweet, and spicy coconut chips are made with fresh, creamy coconut that is harvested at the peak of their taste. The lemongrass and chili powder flakes round out the sweet nectar flavors of the coconut, delivering a little kick to the crunch. They have loads of health benefits, including high fiber, low sodium, and fatty acids that promote heart health and good cholesterol. Great as a topping or straight from the bag. Non-GMO, vegetarian, and gluten-free. To be honest, I really don't care about gluten, vegetarian, vegan, anything. If it's food and it tastes good, I'll eat it. 
So we'll try these and maybe later I'll put in the comment section or the description what it tasted like. Um, let's see. There's a... Oh, something. Hmm. Jamaican jerk rub. Jamaican jerk rub. I love Jamaican chicken, so this will be fun to try. Let's see. This flavorful jerk rub has all the ingredients to make those delicious dishes reminiscent of Jamaican cuisine. The allspice is the shining star of this blend, but the habanero pepper makes a subtle appearance, lending a spicy but not burn your mouth off flavor. With faint hints of sweet spice from the cinnamon and nutmeg, the blend delivers rewarding flavors in one pinch. It's great on any meats, but it's stellar on pork. I'll have to try that. I've never had it on pork before. I'm not really a huge fan. I love to cook, but I don't, you know, I don't actually have a lot of pork recipes, so I might have to try this just to add something different into our meal plan. All right, so let's see. We have hoots, cheese and onion, a delicious multi-grain snack. Looks like they're little, uh, I don't know what you call those things. All right. These bite-sized baked multi-grain snacks are exploding with cheesy, oniony, and buttery flavors that bring with them an intense warning of addiction. This little crostini style discs of joy are crunchy and thick and loaded with savory tastes that will dance on your tongue. Never fried or made with any artificial flavoring. They are a great alternative to oily po potato chips and are everything you want snack time to be and more. These remind me of what you see in uh, Gardetto's. So I might actually really like these. All right. Looks like there's one more thing in here. And it's uh, wrapped all mysteriously. I bet it is something sweet. And it is Farmstead Goat's Milk Salted Bourbon Caramel. That sounds really good. Based on the Mexican confection Cajeta, this rich and velvety goat's milk caramel is hand stirred in small batches for up to five hours in traditional copper kettles. Infused with straight Kentucky bourbon and organic sea salt to enhance the smooth and complex flavors of the car caramel, this sauce is mildly sweet and simply irresistible. Amazing drizzled over vanilla ice cream, over fresh fruit, or straight off the spoon. I'm going to have to go to the store and get some vanilla ice cream so I can try that. It all sounds pretty good. So that's it. That's all I see in the box. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Um... I have some other boxes that are of comparable value that um, don't have quite as many items in it. So some of the stuff seems a little bit weird, but that's kind of what's fun about opening these boxes and finding new things. So that's it. Um, I'm expecting a few other boxes this week, so I'm going to be making some more videos. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this subscription for a while and see how how the next couple boxes turn out. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.